Okay, so we're in open G tuning. Our sixth string is down to D. Fifth string is down to G. Next three strings are the same as standard tuning. D, G, B. And the third string is a D. So tune down to D. So two outside strings are Ds. Strings five and three are Gs. And then the fourth string is another D. And B as, as normal. So London Howling Wolf Sessions is, is a great album with some really great playing from Clapton and a whole bunch of English uh, musicians on it, Charlie Watts is on it as well, um, but Clapton's playing on it is, is really great. Um, and on this album there's a version of Red Rooster and there's an outtake on the album where Clapton has asked Howling Wolf to show him how to play it, um, which, which is fascinating. Um, now th this is played in open A, so you put a capo at the second fret to play it along with the original, but I'm going to show you it in open G to kind of fit with this theme of uh, open G riffs. We're going to start on the third fret and you're going to slide into that now. So this is swooping into the note, then open, and then going up to the 12th fret. So you've got the third fret, we're all on string three here in open G. So just that third fret, open, put some vibrato on, and then we go to a C triad. We're in open G tuning, but these three strings are just the same as standard tuning. It's, it's C. And then just go to that open G, so it's like four to one. So he's going. So he plays that three times. So four and one. And then he's back into the main riff. Two parts to this, and then that chord. So that's the Red Rooster. Eric Clapton's part on the Howling London Wolf sessions. A Ventilator Blues is on Exile on Main Street, one of the best Rolling Stones albums. Um, fantastic album. Uh, it's credited to Jagger, Richards and Mick Taylor who played slide guitar on it. Um, we're going to look at the main riff. So we start off with a hammer-on. Um, this is a little bit tricky on slide. Uh, we can't just plonk the slide straight on the note because it just kind of deadens the note. So what we do is we swoop in like an eagle. So we come into the note, we're, we're moving the slide downwards and it's in motion when it hit the, hits the string and then we get to the third fret. So right hand fingering for this, I'm actually going to use my thumb for that. And then I'm going to use my index finger to play the open fourth string. So that's the first three notes. And make sure you're muting all the other strings that you don't want to hear. Um, check, check out the muting video on this. Um, but basically using your thumb on the sixth string and your fingers to mute the higher sounding strings. So strings one, two, three. that note just like an eagle swooping onto a lake and then what we're going to do is we're going to move our hand across to play the two middle strings open and the rest of it lives on those strings so and again we're muting
muting everything else that we don't want. And then we're going to slide up to the third fret on the middle two strings. And then play those strings open again. two notes. Now that last note being short is very important. So you slide to that third fret and then open third string and just put the finger back on it. So I'm, again I'm using thumb and index finger for those middle two strings. I'm going to play the third string open and then I'm going to put, put my first finger back on the string. And that also gives you time to move back across to start the riff again. So We've got to move back to strings five and four to start, so. That gives you time to move back. So it's just that kind of movement from your middle two strings onto strings five and four that's a little bit tricky. So I'll play the whole thing slowly, and then there's one other detail we want to add in. And that other detail is just the right hand is muting, it's, it's like slapping the strings a little bit and just muting in two places. So it's after this part. First set of open strings on the middle two strings. So. And then here. So after that third fret slide as well. So two places where he just lets his hand rest on the strings again. It mutes the strings, it gives it a little bit more of a groove. So that's a, that's a detail to put in, the final kind of detail. But what I would do is I'd work on this in small chunks, just start with the first few notes, get comfortable with that. As I say, the, the slide in for the hammer-on um, is, is a bit of a, a thing to get used to. And it's the same on any string. swooping in and that's it's really important to get that motion so do that very slowly you know when you're coming from an open string into um, a, a fretted note a fretted note with a slide then we, we've got to use that approach um, but work on it piece by piece put it together and play it along with a drum groove or a metronome or, or just something to really get the time nice and solid and then play it with other people it's a great tune to play and wonderful riff page slide guitar part on Travelling Riverside Blues. Um, this is from a live BBC session. Uh, you'll, you'll find the original track on YouTube or wherever you find your music. Um, this again, we're in open G. Um, it starts up at the 12th fret. Uh, this one's with a pick. So starting up at the 12th fret, just going one E and a two, so just semi-quavers. And then a slide down. And then we're going to the open strings, down, up, and then third fret, just on the fourth, four strings, top four strings. fifth fret. 
So starting the 12th fret, that was the first part. With the slide down and then open strings, third fret. To the fifth fret. And then down to the third fret again. And then open. So. so that's the first bar, if I play that all the way from the beginning. there so we go you know there's not just a little bit of vibrato in that space so that's the first bar and then the second bar is just a little turnaround which uh, uses the top two strings and then a little bass line that goes underneath so third fret on the fourth string and second fret on the fourth string open. So we're just going F, E, D, and then C, which because of the tuning is now on the fifth fret. So it's just the same little pattern each time. So third fret on the fourth string, second fret on the fourth string, open, fifth fret. three to fret four on the fifth string and then those two strings open so because that little um, idea is a three note idea it's three notes and then three notes but it's it's taken through the semiquavers then it ends up in interesting positions um, so rhythmically it becomes quite interesting so across the beat. Um, you may just do this by ear, which is fine, but you can kind of look at the way it's written out and um, try and work out exactly where those notes fall if, if you can read those kind of rhythms. Um, if not, don't worry, just do it by ear. So. Just with the picking there, I'm going down, down, up, and then the same again. down down up and that just allows me to get back to the next note by doing an upstroke on the first string I can get back to the next note easily and then the last part I'm just doing a downstroke on the third fret hammer on and then two open strings so again because if I put all of that together with the first bar you've got tricky to combine the two parts to combine a slide part and then a non-slide part and then to get back into the slide part um, so I would work on those two parts separately for a fair amount of time until you're comfortable with both of them before you start joining them together and of course do it very slowly to start with um, just to get everything under your fingers but it's a really fun riff to play um, and, to, and to jam with other people um, so have fun with that hope you've enjoyed learning these songs have fun playing them. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Put any comments below. Love to hear what you thought of it. Um, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Um, and I'll see you next time.